My name is Wes McKinney. I'm the CTO and co-founder of Voltron Data and a co-creator of the Apache Arrow open source project. Many people know me as the creator of the Python Pandas project, and uh, I've been working on data tools and systems, systems for, for analyzing data for the last uh, uh, almost 15 years. I started the software project that became Pandas in, in 2008. I was initially building a, a set of tools for, for myself to make it possible for me to do data analysis, so, you know, what we now call data science in Python. And I found that I enjoyed uh, building data analysis tools and especially building tools for other people. So I was able to turn that into uh, an open source project and eventually to, uh, to make it successful and build a, build a community around it. I'm here uh, uh, giving a presentation about the Arrow open source project, how it's related to improving performance and data access and um, computing in data science and across at the intersection of database systems and data science tools. I think a lot of people are excited about the, about the Arrow project, but um, I think one of the things that's interesting about it is for many users, it's a, it's a project that they won't even know that's there, that it, uh, it can go into um, all of the projects that you use and, and make them better. Um, and so that, that's, that makes it, uh, for me, even more exciting to have the opportunity to build a piece of technology that, uh, that makes uh, many projects in the broader data science ecosystem uh, much faster and more, and more efficient. The connection between Pandas, uh, you know, very popular Python open source project, and this presentation today is that, that for me, the Arrow project started as, as an effort to build a more future-proof computing infrastructure for libraries like Pandas. You know, when we built, when we built the Pandas project, so myself and the other uh, core, core developers, we had to reinvent many of the same wheels. So we built uh, effectively a query engine in Python and C to power all of the analytics that, that Pandas performs. And so everything is, is uh, custom built for, for Pandas. So the Arrow project uh, is intended to provide a, a reusable and modular computing foundation that, to power the next generation of data frame libraries, as well as accelerating the current generation of tools, including, uh, including Pandas. I mean, open source is extremely important uh, because it's the most efficient way for, for the software to, to have impact when you have a piece of permissively licensed open source software that can become a dependency of um, other open source projects uh, as well as commercial, commercial software projects. And we do actively track the reverse dependencies of, of a project like Arrow. And so now there are hundreds of other open source projects that have taken on um, taken on the Arrow Python library, PyArrow, as a dependency, for example. Open source really enables that, that rapid adoption and, and uh, reduces the, you know, the barrier to entry so that you can pick up the software. If it uh, meets your needs, uh, you can add it as a dependency in your project and, and, um, and, build, uh, and build on it. And I think what we're, we're, we're really excited about, what I'm very excited about, is there's a lot of innovation that's been happening in recent times around hardware accelerators and new types of silicon, but there needs to be a software solution to bring together uh, innovation in hardware, pro hardware acceleration uh, and computing efficiency, so being able to process more data per, per kilowatt hour, basically reducing the carbon footprint of data processing. But in order to unlock the value of that, that new hardware, we have to build a really compelling unified software layer to make, make things really easy for the users to be productive and tightly integrated with programming languages like Python and R, and also tie, tie everything very cleanly into the storage layers, kind of the new generation of open, um, open data warehouses, as well as thinking about designing uh, next generation uh, file formats to, to continue to improve the performance of, of data access and processing efficiency.